Hey guys, I uh, wanted to make a video uh, about our next GeoGebra assignment. So let's uh, go to, make sure we're in a new tab, and let's uh, go to geogebra.org backslash geometry. Um, and you can either, you know, type it into your box, or you can use the link in Google Classroom. So uh, the first thing that I want to do is, um, let's go to settings, let's show axes, uh, and let's show grid and major grid lines. Okay, and we're going to create a uh, an, another triangle today. We're going to use a uh, a different sized triangle than we typically use. Um, so let's do this. Let's start with um, let's create some points here. Let's create the point uh, four one. Let's create the point. Um, four, seven, and then, so that's a length of six, and then we want a length of eight, so let's do 12, one, put that at point C, okay? Um, so four, one, four, seven, and 12, one, okay? Um, and then let's create a polygon, let's create our triangle, so start at point A and go around to B, over to C, and then back to A, okay? Uh, and let's move these points out. And uh, we've got a different right triangle here. It's still a right triangle, but um, what I want to do is let's go to more. Let's measure the distances here. This is a six, eight, ten triangle. Okay, not a three, four, five triangle. Um, but I'm gonna. There's a reason why I'm using uh, a larger triangle today. Um, and let's uh, let's go in. Let's measure our angles. So angle A is going to be a 90 degree angle. Angle B is going to be 53.1 again. And angle C is going to be 36.9. Okay. Um, and then let's calculate the area here of this figure. Okay. Um, <clears throat> and so I'm going to move this um, right about, uh, I'll just put it inside. Okay. Um, and, and what we're going to do today is we're going to do what's called a dilation, okay? A dilation is something that's going to make a figure bigger or smaller, okay? So an example of a dilation um, would be like a globe and then the actual Earth, okay? They're the same shape, the same thing, they're just different sizes, okay? So maps and the actual, um, you know... Uh, you know, figure on Earth or whatever, you know, the city of Breckenridge and a map of Breckenridge, um, you know, the maps of like, you know, your ski resorts and the actual ski resorts themselves. So those are all dilations. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to make this figure larger. Okay. And, um, you know, the first thing that I want to do is uh, when we dilate from a point, you have to select the object, then the center of your dilation, and then enter your scale factor. So before we do anything, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put in a point here uh, at zero zero at my origin. We're gonna put point D right there, okay? And we're gonna dilate this figure um, by our uh, center um, of dilation around this point D, okay? And then um, let's do this. Uh, let's go in and let's go down to transform. Okay, and we're going to dilate from a point. So I'm going to click that. All right, we want to select our object first, select our center of dilation, and then our scale factor. And what we're going to do is I'm going to double the size of this figure. Okay, so I'm going to put in a scale factor of two. Okay, and I want you to see what happens here. Okay. And from that figure, um, I don't want point E in there. All right, um, I'm gonna go back to the move button and I'm gonna move over and zoom out, okay? And so you have triangle AB, and I'm gonna delete that little guy here for a minute. Okay, um, what I wanna show you is you have your original triangle, triangle ABC, and then you have A prime, B prime, C prime. OK, and one thing that's really cool about this is that, um, you know, since we dilated this uh, image, OK, this original triangle about point D, 
All right, um, D, B, and B prime are collinear. D, A, and A prime are collinear. D, C, and C prime are collinear. So if I come down here and I go into my line function and I type in ray, okay, so I'm going to click ray. I'm going to click my starting point at point D and then my next point at point B. And look what happens. Notice how point B prime is also on that line. Okay, I'm going to continue to click ray. I'm going to make a ray from point D to point A. Notice how that point also goes through A prime as well. Um, my ray, I'm going to start at point D and we're going to go to point C and then over to C prime. Okay, and so notice that all these points are collinear, um, meaning they're on the same line as your origin. Okay, all right, so um, the next thing I want to do is. Whoops, I don't want a new point. Um, make sure I'm on the move button. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here and I'm going to uh, zoom back in and I'm going to create uh, a new triangle. Okay, so I'm going to create the point uh, and it's just going to be a mirrored image of what we had. So I'm going to do point um, E at 4, negative 1, point, uh, I'm going to do another point at let's not do yeah let's do f at 4 negative 7 and then g at 12 negative 1 okay and let's create a triangle here and on this one uh, what we're going to do is we're going to dilate this figure um, and let's let's show our distances here all right And so we have a 6, 8, 10 right triangle. Um, and let's go ahead and dilate this again about the origin, about point D here. So I'm going to select this object, and I'm going to select point D. Now, my scale factor, uh, what I want to do is I want to make this smaller. Okay, So if my scale factor is larger than 1, it's going to get bigger. And we noticed that up in this first example. So let's do something smaller. Let's cut it in half. Let's divide Let's uh, increase or decrease it by a scale factor of 0.5, okay? And I want you to notice what happens to that triangle. You get F prime, E prime, G prime, and this is back to a 3, 4, 5 triangle that we had, okay? And so I want you to notice, um, you know, what happens as a result, okay? So, all right, so that's all I want you to do um, for, this, um, for this drawing, okay? So let's go in and let's start making our text boxes. Um, and so uh, let's come in here um, and I'm gonna go and do my text box, okay? And so I'm gonna click up there and I'm gonna put my name, which is Joe Police. I'm going to put the date, which is, um, what is today, 5, 6, 2020. And then I'm going to put the assignment name. So this is assignment 5, okay? Um, and let's do GeoGebra assignment 5, okay? Um, and there that goes, okay? So this is what you would need to do for a level two. If you want to earn a grade of a two, as long as you get to this point, um, that's all that matters. Okay, so let's look at a couple of the level three questions. All right, so question two, um, and I've got them pre-typed out over here. Um, all right, so here's what we're going to do for the first level two question, um, and I'm just going to type it in. All right, so level two uh, is list the points from a triangle ABC to triangle A prime, B prime, C prime. So list these points out. What are those points? List the points of A prime, B prime, C prime. And what is the relationship between each point on triangle ABC and its image, A prime, B prime, C prime? Okay, so that's your first question. And I'm going to go back in. You know, I don't like it when, it, when, it, when it's really long like that, so let's do this. Um, if I double-click on it, um, 
and and hit and go over to like is and hit enter, and then over to like point and hit enter, um, and then like you know level three and hit enter. Okay, all of a sudden this text box is now shrunk and it doesn't extend on for a really really long time. Okay, so um, let's do that from now on for these uh, for these problems. Okay, um, and let's do um, another text box. Let's do question three. All right, and question three says, uh, what is the relationship between the side lengths of triangle ABC and um, an A prime, B prime, C prime? Okay, so uh, I should have hit enter, cancel. Okay, so if I'm back here and I'm trying to do this and it doesn't do it, make sure you're back on the move function. And there we go. All right, so double click on it. Um, and so what is the relationship um, between those? I'm going to click the and hit enter. Oops. All right, and then uh, over to and and hit enter and click OK. And all of a sudden that's in a little nicer text box. Okay. Uh, question four is going to be <clears throat> um, so four. Let's come up here. All right, what is the relationship between the angle measures of those first two triangles? Okay, um, I'm going to hit enter here and enter again and click OK. All right, so what is the relationship between angle measures of triangle ABC and A prime, B prime, C prime? So you want to measure those angles, measure these angles, tell me what the relationship is. And then uh, the last question is a level four question. So this is an extension. All right, so something that you, you know, you have to apply what you learn in this video to a new scenario, okay? So create your figure, any sided figure, okay? Dilate the figure four times, but have the final dilation map back onto, um, let's do this um, onto the original figure. You may not use the origin as your center of dilation. You must use both a scale factor that is larger than one and smaller than one. Okay. So, um, all right. So here's what I got. Here's that question. Okay. So you want to do this. Okay. But I want you to do it four different times. Okay. So you're going to do four total dilations on the same figure. The last dilation must map back onto the original figure, but you can't use point D as your center of dilation. Okay, you have to use a different point. Okay, uh, you must use both a scale factor that is larger than one and smaller than one. Okay, um, all right, so then the last thing you want to do, uh, once you've put in these text boxes and answered your questions, go over here to the share button. Okay, and save, and let's save this as GeoGebra assignment five, okay, make sure that it is shared and that it's not private, all right, and I'm going to save, okay, and it's going to take a minute to save, and then once I have that thing saved, okay, here's the link that you would want to copy and then uh, submit that into Google Classroom. So, Please let me know if you have any questions about this. You guys are doing great. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye.